guys. It's a drone Brett here. It's a cold day today, man. Winter has returned to the to the T dot O dot, man. It's cold, man. Shit. I'm here on Queen Street, so what we'll do today, we'll take a walk down. We're gonna take down a walk down Queen Street. All the all the the kids are out today on uh, Queen Street, so you're gonna see what I'm talking about. So we're gonna go and we're gonna go down and walk. Queen Street. So right now I'm at Queen and University, but we'll head over down to uh, Spadina and we'll check it out like that. So we'll do a we'll do a full Queen Street chill down on Queen. And... What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? Dams, what's going on, Dams Lifestyle? Thank you for tuning in, man. Thanks for tuning in, popping into the chat. We're going to. I'm just going to take a quick walk down Queen Street here, and then I'm going to see what's going down over there, and then. When I'm finished there, I'll come back this way. I'll head down University, see what's going down over here. You know, it's all good in the hood, man. We're going to be live and direct on Queen Street, man. So let's walk down Queen Street. Um, also, for those guys that tune in for my Thailand tracker, yeah, I got the money till, tilled into my Thailand tracker. So we'll be back in Thailand shortly. We just got back from Philippines, so we're going to go to Thailand next, you know. So, we doing Thailand, Philippines, Cambodia, we doing it all up, man, one time, man. We enjoy it. So, anyways, let me just take a quick walk down here. Thank you for tuning in. I'm on Queen. I'm just going to take a walk down Queen Street, and then we'll, we'll see what's going on, and then I'll, I might come back, guys, Let's see what's going on. All right, so I'm going to head down the street here on Queen Street, guys. Got a good view now. All right, so Dams, uh, lifestyle. Where are you at? You're in the United States, I'm assuming. Dams, lifestyle sounds like uh, you're you're in the you're in the USA. You do the lifestyle thing in the USA, right? So it's going down over there in the United States of America, man. I was just in the United States, actually. I was in uh, San Francisco. I was in I was in San Francisco, and. Um, I was flying through uh, San Francisco because of my flight to um, my flight to, from the Philippines. So I did go to San Francisco. So man, it's cold today, man. Winter has returned, man. I was like, I think yesterday was kind of okay, but today is like a little chilly. But I'm on Queen Street here, and I'm just heading west. I'm gonna go down to Spadina. I'm gonna check that out over there. We're gonna go down there and see what's up, man. It's all good in the hood, man. We're rolling, man. We're rolling one time. You understand? my Thailand tracker so you guys can see where I'm at on that Thailand trip. Yo, Queen Street, Queen Street got some shit going down right here. You can see that. You can see that right here. I got a little tap on this one. Queen Street and I think on Dundas, they also have a Dun they also have some Japanese stuff on Dundas. I was uh, when I walk on uh, when I'm on Dundas, I see they got like uh, they got some Japanese cheesecake, they got sushi, teppanyaki. So Queen Street also got the Japanese stuff too, right? So you guys come down to Queen Street, you guys can hook up. They got the bubble tea, all that. They got it all here, man. One time, man. They got all of that Japanese stuff going down right here. You can enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Teppanyaki and sushi and all that, man. Yeah, that's kind of interesting thing about Toronto. So if you don't like the cold, at least you can get some good Japanese food, some Japanese grub here. That's one thing I gotta say, man. Not as good as probably going to Japan, but you're gonna be all right if you come through here. Anyways, uh, yeah, so we've got the Thailand tracker. The cash is filling up to go back to Thailand. We're gonna be rolling up in the T.O. Oh dot, guys. We're doing it up one time. Be back up in Thailand, guys gonna enjoy guys it's it's wild out here on Queen Street man Whew. too many people man I didn't know it was gonna be this crowded out here today man I just thought it was gonna be a leisurely walk but it's like rammed guys if you guys like cannabis they have a cannabis store here guy look at that you got cannabis sushi now I'm walking down here they got a uh, ramen they got all your Japanese stuff so I knew Dundas had the um, Ja ja Dundas Street, like going from University and the Bay, they have the uh, Japanese uh, sushi and the teppanyaki and all that. But they got it here too. Look at they got the 
ramen going down right here. So they got ramen. Look at that, man. Wow. And they got your haka too, man. So you see that? So Queen Street is like a little bit like Dundas. They got a little bit of that Japanese flavor is going down here, man. So let's head down further. I'm going to go down to, um, I'm going to go down to, uh, Spadina and check out what's going down over there. We're going down to Spadina, guys. We're going to go Spadina. They built a lot of condos here, man. What? Look at that, guys. Yo, Young Dorito, what's up, Holmes? They're building a lot of condos here. You can see that they went condo crazy, man. I remember back in the day, you could walk down Queen Street and you wouldn't see one single condo. So that tells you, that tells you how this place is all crazy now with condos, man. So they got so many condos up in here, man. So it's, it's madness. <coughs> they got a lot of condos, man. That's how it is. Look at this place, guy. What the? What is this place, man? They got a. I don't know what this is, man. It looks like a another Japanese, some kind of Japanese bakery going down here, man. Every place is a Japanese bakery, man. They got it all going down. Everywhere I walk in this place, they got some Japanese bakery going down, man. Look at that. It's cool, man. It's all good, man. If you love Japan, you're all good, man. You can roll up in and you can enjoy some Japanese baked goods, man. Getting enjoying that Japanese lifestyle, man. Yo, man. Big time expense. It's still open. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Queen Street is crazy. It's always been like that, though, guy. Queen Street always been like kind of wild man so you know it just depends on like what you're looking for like Queen Street more Queen Street more aimed for kids man but you can see here they got the more condos here this is where they do the city TV and all that so it's cool man why is Toronto expensive I don't know why Toronto's I think because of Trudeau man well Trudeau is Trudeau is the reason Toronto's expensive man because it, He's bringing in so much of these guys here, so obviously Toronto's expensive as hell, man. Because shit, if you're bringing in one million people into your city, man, you're gonna, of course, the city's gonna be expensive, man. You know, that's how it is, man. You bring in one million people a year, the city's gonna be expensive, man. Yeah, that's right, man. Stop sending money overseas. I've been on the streets for 14 years, and not one person's asked me what. Exactly, man. I'm down with you, man. Stop sending money. Give money to the city. Stop sending money to Israel and Middle East and Ukraine and all that bullshit, man. 100% with you, man. Stop sending money overseas, man. Stop that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, man, that's the thing, man. You're sending all the money overseas that people in Toronto can't even get a place to live. And you're sending all the money to all these different dudes overseas and all that. So, yeah, that'll get me on the political tip right there, man. But anyways, so, yeah, that's Justin Trudeau for you right there, guy. Justin Trudeau is all about sending the money overseas and all that, so you don't understand that shit. So, huh. gotta stop with that nonsense one time, man. So, anyways, uh, yeah, we're in Queen Street West, guys. We're rolling up here. I'm on John Street right now. I'm going down right here. So, I think down there is like the entertainment district, and uh, if I head down there, is like the Sky Dome. I think you can see it from here. You can see the Sky Dome down the street down there. Sky Dome and all CN Tower and all that nonsense down there. And then, of course, uh, they got like the, the nightclubs and all that are going down there, especially on King Street. So again, when I was when I was growing up, this is the area that they had the um, the club in it. But they move all that going down King Street. But I'm I'm too old now, so I don't care about that shit. <laughs> but when I was young, I was this was my this was the spot. When I was a kid, you know, I used to hang out here. When I was a child, in my infancy, this was Queen Street West was where you hang out, right? When you were growing up, you know. But when you get old, man, you don't I don't have, I don't have time for this shit anymore, man. <laughs> I hang out in Thailand or Philippines, man. I hang out in the nice hot tropics, man. And uh, if I gotta, you know, so. Even me, I'm going to retire out there, so... Look at that, it's this, another Japanese cafe. Like, everywhere is Japanese cafe. Everywhere you got, man. Let's, it's not Japanese? What is it? Just, just a regular cafe? All right. Okay, so it's not Japanese. The girl just corrected me. She straight corrected me. She said it's not Japanese. All right, whatever. But anyways, this whole place, man, is... 
rocking it, man. <laughs> so, uh, oh man, yo, man, they're listening to Drake. Drop and give me fifty, yo. Drop and give me fifty, yo. Drop and give me fifty. Drake is in the house. Drake is in the house. Drop and give me 50, yo. Drake is in the house. Who's playing that Drake? Drake, man. Who's playing that Drake? Drop and give me 50, yo. Who's playing that Drake, man? Who's got that Drake playing, man? Drake is they got Drake. I was hearing the Drake. I'm like, what's up, man? They got Drake going down. They're playing Drop and Give Me 50, man. Yo, Drake. They got Drake. Uh, Drake has been on a Drake has been on a tear these past few days, man. He's Drake is going after uh, Drake is going after Kendrick. He's going after Future. Drake is going after everybody, man. He's take he's going to bury everybody, man. Drake really putting Toronto on the spot, man. Yo, man, Drake, and that's a banger too, man. Yo, 420 today, man. Get some, yeah, guy. What's co what's going down, man? Yeah. So, anyways, guys, we're in Queen Street West, guy. Queen Street West. I don't know if you guys ever seen it. I'm just coming down, you know, showing you guys a bit of Queen Street West here. Yeah. A little bit of a pre-Thailand little walkthrough before we head out to the tropics. You know what I'm saying, homies? So we're on Queen Street West, the street of my childhood, man. I used to roam these streets when I was a young child, in my 20s and my, my late teens, you know? Not anymore. I don't come down here at all, you know? But it's all good, man. It's all good in the hood, man. Yo, man. Am I going to Thailand in a week? No, I wish I was going to Thailand in a week. I could, but... I want to get my tracker up to 7,000 before I head out to Thailand, guy. I just got back from Philippines, guy. So what the hell, guy? If I just got back from Philippines, I got to I gotta just recoup, man. I got to recoup my cash. I got to relax, you know. Chill out and all that, man. I can't just head out to Thailand one time, guy. Here's more condos for you guys. Look at that there. Take a look at that, guys. Look at that. All condos down there, man. Just building like crazy, man. All straight condos, guy. I remember this street had no condos before. I won't think I came down here and there were no condos, man. And it just got crazed with the condos, man. This whole street, all condos and everything is getting uh, gentrified, you know? Back in the day, this was all like mom and pop type shops. It was all like all beat down and shit. Now it's all upscale, big brand and all that. So it ain't no mom and pop here anymore. I can tell you that for real. But back in the day, when I was a kid, this place was mom and pop. There were no condos. It was all, like, pretty chillaxed out then. But now, take a look. This place is wilding, man. I don't know. <laughs> I thought, I, I found yesterday, and I thought, Cheap Charlie. <laughs> yeah, Cheap Charlie is on it, man. Cheap Charlie is on it, man. They even got, look at that. They even put little steel pads out here so you could sit down. Look at that. You got a little steel, little, little, uh picnic tables you can sit down there and chill no man Queen Street West is a vibe guy so yeah I put together a Thailand tracker so we can get back to Thailand and I got 150 bucks in that Thailand tracker needs 7,000 when I get to 7,000 we can pop back out back out to a Thailand back out to the tropics the sooner I'm there then the sooner I travel out obviously I'd like to have like a, a nice cushion in the bank account before I head out there find Nita. Nita's in Dubai. I think I asked Nita the other day. I said, Nita, like, are you okay? Because I heard Dubai got flooded out, you know. And uh, I know they don't have storm sewers in Dubai because it doesn't rain there, so I think they were having a bit of a problem with all the rain that came in, but, you know, that's Dubai for you, man. And um, she's, she'll be okay. I need a beer for the culture. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get a beer when I go down to Front Street. I'll go grab a beer down on Front Street. I'm not grabbing a beer up here. I just came here to show you guys uh, the Kitty Central District, eh? So you guys can check it out and see what's going down here, man. It's Kitty Central. Let me just turn my camera the other way so you can see as well. You can see all the kitties that are all running here, man. 
So we are in Queen, this is Queen Street, uh, Queen Street West, not Queen Street East, Queen Street West. So you guys can get a check there, see what's going down here. Anyways, we're going to take a walk down, I'm going to walk over to uh, Spadina and see what's up here. So guys, man, we're going to get back to Thailand, guys. Just got back from Philippines, we're going back out to Thailand. Nice and hot, get some cheap beer, you know what I'm talking about, homies? And uh, yeah, cheap beer. You know, and enjoy, relax, man. I miss, man. I like I said, I miss, uh, I miss roaming the streets of Bangkok, man. You know, back in the day, that was my thing, man. Yeah, guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll go down to, um, maybe I'll go down to the harbor front. I'm not sure, 100 percent. Maybe I'll go down there and check it out, man. We'll see what's up. Fred, what does a beer cost? on this stretch. I think it's like same cost as anywhere. It's like seven, eight bucks. Seven, eight bucks for a beer, man. In this area here, man. It's not Thailand. Let's put it that way, man. It's not Thailand, man. It's, it's about seven, eight bucks for a beer. Think in Thailand, Vietnam, you're paying like a couple of bucks for a beer. Look at that. They got a Chick-fil-A here as well. Look at that, man. These guys are serious, man. Told you, all of this area here used to be mom and pop. Now, it's, um, it's all gentrified, man. Look at that. All big brands here all big brands and I remember back in the day used to roam around here and it was like none of this shit was here so it's, it's, oh man it went big time man so you guys are seeing for real what's going down man yeah man two bucks man Vietnam Thailand you're getting your beer so cheap oh man beer tastes better when it's cheap too man that's why you gotta love Thailand man you know, Thailand, Philippines, it's all good, man. For me, I don't mind one bit. Understand cheap beer and cheap hotels. God damn, love that spot, man. Got to get back out there as soon as possible, man. And I just came back. <laughs> like I said, I was just in Philippines, and now I got to head back over there. You understand? Look at that. There's one store. You see, even these high-end stores, they can't pay the rent. You see that? Look at that. This one went bankrupt right here. Look at that. Out of business, man. For lease. You understand? Look at that. So remember, these guys are paying big dollars for the rent here, and they can't even pay the rent. Look at that. <laughs> these guys can't even pay the rent, man. Look at that. It's going down with these guys, man. Anyways. Yeah, man. Brad, when are you moving to Thailand? I am going to move to Thailand as soon as I can get, as soon as I get my plan together, I'm moving to Thailand. For sure I'll move to Thailand, man. Of course, guy. Wouldn't you? Of course, man. <laughs> why, would, why would you want to live in Justin Trudeau's Canada, guy? You want to get to Thailand or Philippines or somewhere tropical and nice, man? You know what I'm saying, homies? I'm going to get to the nice tropics, cheap beer, man. You don't want to live in JT's Canada, guy. You don't want to live here at all, man. It's turning into a full-on cesspool man but it's all good for now I'm here guys so it's all good man I'm for, for right now I'm here and I'm in the, I'm in the T dot for right now T dot O dot for right now and then as soon as I get the chance I'll be out in Thailand one time man so we doing it one time Thailand style Philippine style cheap beer cheap hotels cheap everything out there man that's why we love it you understand yeah, man. There are some hotties. Where? I didn't see no hotties. Where you saw some hotties, guy? You saw some hotties somewhere, guy? <laughs> you understand. Anyways, let's go take a walk through the entertainment district. We're going to see what's up going on over there. One time. We're going to take a walk through the entertainment district and uh, see what's going on. You know, see what's up in the entertainment district. See if we're going to be entertained. You understand. If they're going to entertain us one time you understand look at that more condos man holy shit man i tell you man i used to roam here back in the day and then the entertainment district was all like parking lots and all that kind of nonsense wow. back there god i hated you so you know that's how it is man everything all you see in from behind there you see where those condos are right there that was all parking lots man i remember man it was all parking lots man and all of it now is high-end hotels condos and this and that, you know? Ah, man, I'm old, man. I tell you right there how old I am because this was back in the 90s when I used to run down here. I used to go to the club back in the day. They turned all of the clubs that I used to go to into condos. And 
they moved all the con the, the clubs out to the uh, the west side of the city on King Street, King Street West. So I don't I don't even go down there to be honest because I'm I'm too old. <laughs> I'm too old to be clubbing. You understand? If I was if I was younger, you know, I'd be out there on King West, you know, chilling out. But I'm a little bit too old for that. So I'm too old to be going to the club, man. So you understand, man. <laughs> So we'll go over down to uh, John. We're going to check out the um, entertainment district. See what's up over there. So, man. So again, we're on Queen Street West, guys. This is one of the main commercial strips here in Toronto. So if you're into shopping and you're into shopping for brand names and stuff, if you're young, like if you're a, like a teenager, and you know this is where the teenagers roam. This is the this is their spot here. They have like one of these mom and pop vintage stores here, and then it was back in the day that was the spot, man. For all of us guys in the Thailand genre, we don't understand about this, man. <laughs> we in the Thailand genre, man. So it's all good, man. Anyways, guys, we're gonna head down. We're gonna head down. Brad, does he got a big trip before the last? I just yeah, I said I just got back. I just got back from Philippines, guys. So I can't head back out to Thailand just yet. You know, I'll head back out when I have a chance. I'll get back to Thailand. I love it out there, but you know, we're doing it up one time, one step at a time, homies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, man, I can't wait, man. So uh, I was uh, I was talking on my stream yesterday about when okay you're in Thailand and you're just doing your thing you're consulting whatever and you're living your life and you're all happy and shit you're gonna make it work how much you need to generate to be living out there you understand I'm gonna give you guys a I'm gonna give you guys a quick clue man so for me I don't have high, high expenses man if I'm in Thailand to be honest I could survive on a grand a month but I think it'd be better to have a, a good full two grand. So in order to do that, I definitely got to do some online sales or online consulting or something like that, sales slash consulting. And I better have that up and running before I move out to Thailand, because otherwise it's not it's not viable. So that means you're gonna be, I, I wouldn't be, if I'm in Thailand, you know, I'm not gonna be full time YouTubing because I gotta I'll have to run a business, you know. I can't be full time showing you guys like the beer bars and the go go bars and all that in Thailand when I gotta work, you know, but. If I get a chance, like on the weekends and all of that, I'll be on the, I'll be on the Sukhumvit strip, or I'll go soy bakao or soy six, soy eleven. You guys will get a good scene of what's going down in Thailand, and then you guys will get your little, you get your rocks off and all that, man. But for right now, the focus is on making money, man. It's not on showing you guys what's going down over there. You understand? But we love it in Thailand, guys. We love Thailand, Cambodia, Philippines. One time, guys. Going wild, man. Enjoying the tropics. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Everything here is tuna kahuna. What's up, man? Tuna kahuna with the big dono, man. Fifty dollars. Thank you. Tuna kahuna, get in the consultation. Fifty dollars, man. What up, man? Oh man, thank you so much, tuna kahuna, man. Thank you. Boom. Fifty dollars, man. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much, Tuna Kahuna. Wow, thank you so much, man. 50 bucks, man. My goodness, man. Excellent. That'll That's going straight into the Thailand fund, Tuna Kahuna. That'll get me to Thailand a little bit sooner, man. You guys want me in Thailand right now, man. Shit. You guys aren't joking around, man. So, all right. I'll be out, man. Straight into the Thailand fund. We're at $200, guys. Thailand already, man. Just got back from Philippines, be going back out there, man. Oh, man. It's gonna be all right, man. We're gonna hit... Guys, when I'm in Thailand, we will hit the go-go bars, guy. We'll hit the go-go bars. We're gonna hit the beer bars. We're gonna hit it all up, man. Yo, man. Yes, I'm from Canada, guy. Unfortunately, I'm from JT's Canada, guy. Unfortunately, man. But we're gonna be in Thailand soon, man. Forget about Canada, guy. We're gonna be in Thailand. 
We're gonna be Thailand rolling, man. These guys got the last name of bitches came in twos, and they both suck like they came to lose. Thailand guys, say up my Thailand guys, man. What's up, homies? What's up, man? Queen Street, man. <laughs> This guy's got it, man. And Drake, Drake came out with a banger. He's coming out with bangers every day, man. Drake is coming out with bangers every day, man. He he came out with two bangers. Uh, he's going after all of the rappers in the in the United States. He went after Future, Metro, Booming. He went after uh, Kendrick Lamar. He's going after all of the rappers in the U.S., man. He's he's burying them, man. Drake is on fire, man. Holy crow, man. He, he's not stopping, man. So, uh, yeah, it's all good, man. Thank you, Tuna Kahuna. Straight into the Thailand Fund. 200 bucks, man. Thank you so much, man. 200 bucks. Thank you so much, man. 200 bucks for the Thailand genre. Thank you so much, man. 200 bucks for the Thailand genre, guys. Tuna Kahuna came in hard, man. Yo, man, yeah. Yo, man, and I, and also I'm waiting for Justin Trudeau's. Uh, I'm waiting for his carbon rebate. If I get his carbon rebate, I'll throw that into the Thailand fund too. So any money I get from JT, anything I get from that dork, I send that money straight into the Thailand fund. Any money JT sends me straight into the Thailand fund, man. So, anyways, we're gonna head down to the entertainment district, man. So I'm waiting for that carbon money or whatever money you want to send out to me. I'm gonna take it put it straight into getting out of here and that's all man yeah get a beer to celebrate I'll get a beer when I'm down on front street guy I'll grab a beer on front street man all right we're going down to the entertainment district Actually, let's go on the other side it's a bit more too crowded on this side I'm gonna go on the other side man thank you tuna kahuna man 50 bucks 200 bucks into the Thailand fund man sick yo thank you so much for that dono guy sick yeah, we're gonna get a beer to celebrate. We're gonna be doing all kind of celebration streams, man. Tuna Kahuna, man. I, yo, Tuna Kahuna. Did you see my crime family video? The crime family um, in Thailand. Oh shit, that's the that's hardcore guy. The Thailand crime family guy. You saw my uh, my video there. Yo, man. The Thailand crime family, man. You should have seen that video. I just did it. And I, I actually, funny enough, I put Drake's beat on it. I took one of Drake's videos and I, I stripped the, uh, I stripped the audio from the, uh, uh, from the video, and I made, uh, I made a hardcore Thailand crime family video, man. So if you're into that kind of genre, you're gonna love that type of video, man. Thailand crime family, man. So we're gonna go in. I'm gonna go in, man. I'm going in on these guys, man. Guys, it's crazy out here. Look at this street, man. It's crazy, man. <laughs> Thailand crime family. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, man, it's wild, man. We're wilding out on the streets of Toronto, guys. Look at all the condos, man. This is so crazy, eh? Look at that. Condos everywhere. Guys, I'm taking a walk down. You guys can see. We're leaving Queen Street West. I'm going down into the entertainment district. I'm leaving... I'm gonna leave Queen Street West behind. I'm gonna go down to the uh, entertainment district, guys. Thank you, Tuna Kahuna, man. 200 bucks in the Thailand till, man. Thank you so much, man. Woohoo! We're gonna be Tuna Kahuna. When I get to Thailand, I'm like, I'm gonna be working, man. I'm gonna be consulting because I gotta generate the income to make it viable because I wanna be out there all the time, man. You know? So, I'll be there working and doing my thing and you understand me man so yeah man tuna kahuna man he, he want me to be in tuna kahuna he wants me to be in thailand man he don't want me here he wants me in thailand one time man so all right man we're gonna do it up one time man yeah man tuna kahuna i think a lot of the crime family the crime family they want me in thailand too they're like god you got to get back out to thailand i'm like yeah yeah I'll be back in Thailand soon. So, I know those guys like Stu D and Capio and um, Boohoo, Tuna Kahuna, 
all these guys uh, it's from the, the crime family they want me in Thailand man so I'll give them some steady content over there you know and I'm a big supporter of the crime family man so that's all good man yeah yo man you guys even know about the crime family so I'll give a big props to the crime family yeah in the Thailand genre in the Thailand genre we have a crime family man so this is uh, the entertainment district guys it's not that much fun in the winter time it's not about jail no that this crime family is just a group of guys that go to Thailand so you know that's what we call it the crime family man so we go to Thailand we chill out we relax you know so these guys, <laughs> they call us the crime family man so yeah man So yeah, man, they, they call us the, what is it, today's April 20th, yeah, but it's winter, man. You know in Toronto, winter could be all year long, man. Look at the condos, man. Guys, look at that. Toronto is non-stop, man. Always building condos. You guys can see the construction. They, they're still working on that tower right there. I think they're still working on it. But this, all the time, building condos, man. Everywhere. If you, if you guys look this direction, you can see, look it. It's insane, man. This place used to be all parking lots. All parking lots, but now all condos, man. <laughs> like, all of this area used to be parking lots, man. If you guys came down here like 20 years ago, you would see that it's all parking lots, but now look at it. It's all big, huge condo towers, man. So, yeah, man. Anyways, so yeah, we're gonna do a consultant business. Tuna Kahuna, man, he came in big time, man. Dropped a big dono on me, man. Thank you so much. I'm gonna take that money and uh, I'm gonna put it right into the Thailand fund, man. 200 in the till, man. And 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 the funny thing is, Tuna Kahuna, he 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 basically paid for my ticket to Philippines, right? So Tuna Kahuna is the one that got my ticket to the Philippines last time, right? So you know, thank you Tuna Kahuna for the the donation. I'm gonna put that money to the Thailand fund get myself back out to Thailand once again man so yeah man and the thing is I like I said not even one month ago I was in Philippines and now I'm going back out to Thailand so it's all good man thank you so much man thanks so much for your donation man thank you so much man this is uh, the entertainment district I'm in here so yeah keep the donos coming guy will be in Thailand very soon man and uh, yeah I'm, put, I'm putting all that money segregated into like a fund, straight up for Thailand, and then we'll uh, we'll do our business down there one time, man. Anything you guys want to see, you tell me what you guys want. Go go bars, you know, beer bars, you know, Beach Road, Soy Bacow, Soy Eleven, whatever you guys want. We we'll do it up one time, man. Oh, it's gonna be on fire, man. All the stuff that you guys want to see in Thailand, we're gonna do it up one time. Brad, <laughs> you need to save the Thai genre. Yeah, man, I'm trying to save the Thailand genre, guy. I'm gonna save the Thailand genre, man. What's up, man? Go to Hooters? You like Hooters, eh? <laughs> Hooters, man. Yeah, we're in the entertainment district, man. Yo, man, it's gonna be wild, man. I'm gonna be wild. I think they have some, uh, there's a, there's a, 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 a streaming uh, cam mafia in Pattaya. So only those selected people are allowed to stream in Pattaya, but maybe if I have a friendly, uh, if there's a friendly go-go bar, like I know many of the bar girls in Thailand are my friends, so I, I can go to their bars because they own the bars there and I can stream from there because they have the bars, they own the bars right there, eh? So I can go right there and do my streaming, man. It's all good. So anyways, yeah, we're on, uh, we're on John, we're here in the entertainment district chilling out one time guys we're getting ready to go to thailand guys thailand and uh we're gonna do it up in uh, pattaya phuket koh samui we're gonna go chiang mai yeah arissa has a bar all of them have bars arissa e and um kwan 
Juan also has a bar. And uh, I know a few other bar owners too. Like I know my own friend bars. I'm not talking about the, the girls that you know. I'm talking about girls that I know. Nita always saying that, oh, Bradley, you have so many grannies in Thailand and, you know, this and that. But I don't have that many grannies in Thailand. I have a few, but not that many grannies. But I don't talk to them. And the funny thing is I don't talk to the grannies in Thailand. Like, Nita think I'm chit-chatting with all these grannies all the time. I'm like, no, man. I don't have time for that, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, her mom. Oh, but, but I thought Arissa has her own bar. I didn't know that. I thought her mom has a bar, and I thought she has a bar of her own. I didn't know that her mom owns that bar, so I didn't know that. So, it's all good, man. Anyways, look at this, guys. Look at more condos, guy. Look at that. They built more condos here, guy. It's crazy, yo. Look at that. More condos. This whole city is going to be condos. Like, this, you will, pretty soon, you know, you will see Toronto. You can't, it's just like constant condos, man. It's all good, man. So, yeah, look at that. Look at that. All condos. Look at this whole street. Condos, man. Look at that. Look at that right there, man. You can check that out one time, man. You're going to see it all good in the hood. One time. And down here, you got the banks on that side. And then on this side, you have the condos, see? Look at that. Look at that one-timer, see? So, that's how it is, man. Well, check it out, man. I haven't gone down King West in a long time. I don't have time, really. I'm always kind of busy, so I'm not really heading down there. But anyway, let's go down the street. Let's check out. Um, let's check out these uh, condos on uh, Dawn. We're gonna see what we can find, guys. So this is where they do the film festival, guys. Go Leafs, go! Yeah, go Leafs, go, guy. One hundred percent, man. Go Leafs, go, guy. So, um, so yeah, man. They they're really building a lot of condos, man. That's for real, man. It's real. It's a. It's a real. It's a profit center, man. As they say, it's a profit center. They're making some big money on that when they make these condos, man. So, dudes are making money. They're rolling on it, man. So we're gonna go down the street here, check out what's up, and like that, eh? Anyways, yeah, man. It's all right, man. Just doing my thing here and uh, see what's up. You know, it's all good. You know. So you guys giving me good support here. So I appreciate that. And I thank you for uh, hooking me up there, Tuna Kahuna, man. You brought it in, man, with the big dono and all that. So it's all good, man. I appreciate that one time. Very good, man. Very, very good. Thank you so much, man. Get ourselves back out to uh, Thailand and uh, enjoy, man. For real. One time it, man. Here's an A&W, man. They got an A&W here. Look at that. Check that out. A&W. Is it even open? A&W? What's going on there? A and W, man, what's up? Anyways, let's go down this street. Let's see what's going down here, man. So they built all these condos down this street, man. Take a look at this, man. Look at that. The street is just all condos. Let me take a look down here. I never, I haven't come down here for a long time, man. So I just like exploring the city. You guys here with me one time, it. So it's all right, man. We can go exploring, you know, and check it out. See what's up, you know. All condos. Wow. Very fancy, man. And they built, I think this is, uh, this is like the Hollywood condo, like Nobu. This is the one that Kim Kardashian and Robert De Niro own. I think they own this one. They built it here. I don't know for sure. But I know that um, when they built it, they got all of the, they got all of the uh, Hollywood uh, celebrities together. And they, they basically, um, for this condo, they, they all like did a, they congregated up their money and they, they uh, have a part ownership in the condo. So they all got together to work on this one. So it's all good there. Anyways, let's take a look. I'm just going to pan up here. You guys can see. And you can see. So this thing is uh, all these uh, celebrities. I think they have the, the, the restaurant is going to be here as well. So they're going to have the Nobu restaurant. It's kind of a bit, it's kind of a bit isolated. Like not much here going down, but it's all good, you know. But anyways, let's take a look. I was just going to walk over to the other end to see what's up. And, uh... Yeah, man. So, yeah, man. We are here in the Entertainment District. Thank you again, Tunacuna, for your support, man. 
thank you for the support, man. You, you dropped a big dono there, man. Thank you, man. You don't, I know you want to see me up in Thailand, guys, so I, I do appreciate that so much, man. You came in here and you dropped a big dono, and uh, yeah, I'm putting that straight into the Thailand fund, man. Very good, eh? Thank you so much, man. We're going to be on it. So again, they have all the condos. Look at that. More condos going up here. Look at that. Fancy kind of stuff is going down here. You can take a look and see that one time. Look at that. Look at that. Fancy condos they built in. It's all right here. Take a look, guys. More. Holy shit. It's everywhere, man. They really did it up one time, man. They did it up one time, man. So anyways, we're going to take a walk over. I think that's Peter Street down there. John Thomas, what's up, man? John Thomas, we're going back to Thailand, guy. We're going straight back to Thailand. I just came down and uh, I was like, yo, man, this is ridiculous, man. So I'm going to get the 7 I'll put the 7K together. Once I do that, bam, we're going to head out, get out to, uh, to Thailand one time, man. Looking forward to that. It's going to be all good, man. We're going to have a good old time. I'm going to straight streaming, Sukhumvit, Soy 11, Soy Bacow, Beach Road, all your favorite spots in Thailand. I'm going to be there. We're going to go nice hotels and everything one time, you know? So, yeah, man, I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I'm trying to get you guys psyched up, man, because I haven't been to Thailand in a while. I've been going to Philippines for the last few years. I've been heading out to Philippines, so it'll be nice to change it up and go to Thailand. Get out to Thailand one time and check out Thailand. You know what I'm saying, homies? And, uh, you know, it's going to be all right, man. Miss Thailand, man. I miss roaming the streets, man, in Bangkok. I miss roaming the streets of Bangkok, man. That was my shit, you know? That was my shit. Roaming the streets of Bangkok. Back in the day, you know? Heading up and down on uh, Sukhumvit, Soy 11, you know, uh, Asuk, Soy Nana. So all them streets there, I've been, I haven't been on them in a long time. So it'll be nice to head back out there and do my thing, man. Guys. It's 420, guy. Look at this. Look at this, man. Look at this. Mad condos everywhere. Toronto's crazy. If you guys come here, you're going to be like, holy shit. Your whole city is condos, man. It's so crazy, man. Like, not just condos. It's like big, big condos. Like, huge, humongous condos, man. Like, they're not even small condos. Like, these things are like 60 stories tall, 70 stories tall condo. So, yeah, man. It's nice to be back here for a bit and then... Then we're gonna jump back out one time to uh, Philippine, uh, to Thailand. Came in here for a quick pit stop and then we're heading back out one time, man. Look at that, man. They're really doing it up with the uh, condos and they really made it like decent. Do you see, look at parking lots. This is what, this is what Toronto used to be. When I was a kid, the whole entertainment district used to be like this, a big parking lot. But slowly but surely, all the parking lots got eaten up. There ain't no more parking lots down here. You know, everything got built into big towers and all that. So, yeah, man. It's a big change from when I was a youth, man. When I was running the streets down here. So, it's a big change from then, man. So, yeah, man. Toronto is big time, man. Toronto is like the Tokyo of North America, man. It's like a Tokyo style. It's the Tokyo of North America, man. Look at that. Just need a few more condo towers and you're there, man. Holy shit, man. It's crazy, man. Look at that. Every every little piece of land gets turned into a massive tower. So, obviously, for this little piece of land, I think they have a plan for, like, a 70-story tower there. So, any piece of land downtown like this is turning into one, two, or three. Like, this piece of land here is big enough for, like, three or four 70-story towers. So, that's probably what they're going to build there because it's too much land, right? So, they're going to build very big 70 stories. Uh, yeah and here too this one here they're building 70 stories too so this piece of land look at this guys i'm gonna show you guys something i want to show you guys something right here yo big shot what's up guys look at this these buildings they look brand new right it looks brand spanking new you guys won't believe it you guys won't believe it these are buildings are brand new but they want to tear them down and build a tower here can you believe that Toronto's insane, guys. Look at they have the notice right there. You can see they're gonna tear these buildings down, strip them, and build a tower on top. That's insane. These buildings are not even 20 years old, man. What the hell, guy? 
Look at that, man. Look at that. They're going to tear. Look at that. First, look at that. The building is basically brand new. So that you're like, this is Hong Kong style, man. Look at that. The building is basically brand new. And then they're building 70 story tower on top of it. You see the, you can see the building, like right? you can see it, right? So they're taking this building, which is brand new, and they're going to tear it down to build a 70 story tower. So everything that they built here is like 70 stories. Like it's not like you can't even build 30 stories. People want 70 story tower, man. You can't even build like 30 stories, man. 70 stories. It's insane. It's insane, man. So anyways, yeah, man. It's a big profit, man. Yeah, more immigrants and especially the rich immigrants, right? It's like the rich ones are coming in too, right? So that's a big cause for the the, the, the large increase in the price, man. So you guys, you guys need to understand Toronto is not a joke. It's a very, yeah, it's expensive and the real estate game is like Hong Kong style, man, for real. It's a Hong Kong, look at this building, it's a brand new building. It's basically brand new, 20 years old, not even. 20 years old-ish, and they're gonna build on top of it a 70 story tower. <laughs> 70 story tower on top of this building. So, you guys know, Toronto is next level, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, crazy. Guys, this is the CN Tower there. You guys can see. CN Tower. So. So they have condos everywhere, man. Let me go. I'm gonna show you guys some more stuff, man. Then we're gonna go over to we're gonna go to Front Street. Yo, go leaves go, man. Big shots in the house, man. Tuna Kahuna, big ups, man. Dropping the 50 on you, man. Tuna Kahuna dropped the 50 on me. Thank you so much, Tuna Kahuna. Tuna Kahuna dropped the 50 dollars on me. Thank you so much, man. We're gonna be in Thailand soon, man. Look at that again. Look at that. More condo towers going up. More condo towers. Insane. Insane. Yo, John Thomas! Coming through, man. You pushed me over $200 on my Thailand fund. Wow. Yo, you guys want me in Thailand big time, man. Boom, John Thomas. Tuna Kahuna. You guys are coming in strong, man. Thank you, Tuna Kahuna. Thank you, John Thomas, man. You guys are coming through, man. Thank you for funding the Thailand trip, man. One time, man. You guys are going in hardcore. You know? You guys are going in hardcore, man. Yo, man. We're going to be in Thailand soon enough, man. Thank you so much, John Thomas. Yo, John Thomas. John Thomas. John Thomas was a, was a big supporter of mine. When I was in the Philippines, he was the one that was, uh, when I was going live in the Philippines, John Thomas was the one that was supporting my chat. So he was the one funding my, uh, funding my trip to the Philippines. So I'm glad that he's out here again and he's going in hardcore. He's like, guy, I'm going to support your trip to Thailand, guy. Thank you, John Thomas, man. Thank you for supporting my, my uh, trip to Thailand. And I, it's not going to be a trip. The plan is to be in Thailand permanently. So six months and we're gonna be in Thailand permanently. So we're not gonna sell everything, but I'm gonna be living half and half. I'll be living half in Thailand, half in Toronto, you know? I'm gonna be kind of 50-50 living. But I need to first have it viable, I need to have everything set up, and then we can do it, right? We can go half here in Thailand, half in Toronto, and enjoy, man. And obviously the weather is better there, the food is better there, you know, hotels are better there, everything is better there than here, right? So, yeah, man, we'll do it up one time, guys. It's gonna get nice, nice, nice setup in Thailand, man. We'll do a nice setup one time, enjoy, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. The only thing is, it gotta just have the, the cash flow needs to be secure. So obviously, a lot of guys, you can't go to Thailand without a secure income source overseas. You gotta have a secure, a secure viable business. Once the viable business is in place, and I have my 7K, and I don't think it's gonna be, okay, 7K regardless, I'm gonna be in Thailand. But the viable business is what I need 
to stay there permanently. So 7K is one thing. No matter what, I have the 7K, we're in Thailand. That's without a doubt, no questions asked. You get me that 7K, I'm in Thailand 100%. But the, what I'm talking about is not just to be in Thailand, I'm talking about to live permanently in Thailand. So that's what the, that's what the goal is, man. So we're gonna move overseas and do our thing one time, man. So you understand what I'm talking about, right? We'll be living over there, enjoying, and uh, you gotta have a viable, super viable business plan before you just jump out over to Thailand one time, you understand? So, you know, you guys are getting it, man, one time, man. And that's what I'm gonna do, homies. I'm gonna be relaxing and chilling, and everything that I'm doing, you guys are gonna be there. Like I said, it won't be like a continuous streaming because um, I gotta work, right? If I'm, if I'm in Thailand, I'm not just there to have fun, I gotta be there to work. I gotta make money, you know, and, uh, and everything else, man. So, you know. So the 7K will be like the, the Thailand starter fund for uh, getting everything set up, getting your shit set up in Thailand and all that. You know what I'm saying, homies? <laughs> and uh, yeah, man, I'm looking forward to it, man. Anyways, guys, let me show you guys around. I'm, I'm in the uh, front street. I'm still in the entertainment district, kind of. I'm just uh, walking away from the CN Tower and all that. I'm heading over to the, the, the train station. So it's not super busy today. Yesterday was crazy, man. There's a CN Tower. It's right behind here. CN Tower, Sky Dome. So you guys, you guys never been to Toronto? This is the uh, CN Tower, Sky Dome, the aquarium and all that. It's all back here. So down there is John Street. That's the street I was just on over there. And then here is the uh, convention center. So, yeah, man. So, yeah, your guys supporting me with the, the money is so much. I thank you so much for that, guys. And I appreciate it. You know, I appreciate that you guys kicked in for the for me to go to go to Thailand, man. That's awesome, man. You guys are like, you know, you guys are like hardcore, man. You guys are like, this guy got to get out to Thailand, man. All right, all right, I'll do it. For you guys, I'll do it one time, man. You know, once you guys you kick me in the 7K... I'm going to be in Thailand 100%, man. And the, the sooner the better, obviously. And I enjoy that you guys are... I hope you guys enjoy, you know? So, I'm going to put it on a very tight, tight timeline. You know? I'm going to put it on a tight, tight timeline. And we'll be out, man. Back in Thailand. I can't wait, man. I can't wait, man. I miss Thailand, man. I miss the uh, soy bacow and all of that you know so it'll be nice to it'll be nice to be finally back in the in the tropics you know enjoying so thank you guys for supporting tuna kahuna thank you for the support thank you for that 50 bucks thank you john thomas thank you for the support for the donations you guys want me in thailand you guys are like really want me in thailand guys all right all right we'll set everything up it's all good I'm gonna get the everything set up, hotels, flight, all that. You guys know I miss Thailand so much. I've been going to Philippines for so I've been going to Philippines pretty much more recently than not. I've been in the Philippines, so now I'm gonna head back out to Thailand, man. Go back on Soy Bacao, Soy Nana and all that. Those favorite streets you guys love so much, eh? You know, what's the big street you guys like in Thailand? What, what's a big street in uh, Pattaya that you guys like? Beach Road? Beach Road? You know what I'm saying, homies? So, yeah, man. But, uh, yeah, we'll do it up one time, man. We're going to set it up, get everything straightened out there. And fuck, we're going to be gone, guys. We out, man. We out there. It is a convention center, guys. So you can see <laughs> the convention center. It's Toronto Convention Center, guys. So, yeah, we're walking by. It's an old building. But they, they, they renovated it up nice, though, eh? Still looks all right, considering it's an old building. This one, they also want to build three 90-story towers on. So the convention center also have towers proposed, but 90-story towers, like huge towers, 90-story towers, <laughs> like 100 stories. <laughs> so any building that's like a low building in Toronto is getting redeveloped, 100 stories, you know, big, big towers. Like, if you guys look over there across the street, they got a, like a Ritz-Carlton Hotel. So the Ritz-Carlton Hotel, that's like, you know, 
that's an old building too. I don't think that building hasn't been there for long. Maybe 15, 16 years. The, the Ritz Carlton. Not that, not that, uh, not that, not that new. And then they have uh, Simcoe Place. It's like 30 years, 30 years old. Simcoe Place. So yeah, man. We down here on Front Street, man. I'm heading over to the train station, guys. I'm gonna go grab a. I'm gonna grab a quarter pounder. I'm gonna grab a quarter pounder. Cheese, poutine. I'm gonna get an extra large Fruitopia. I'm gonna get some chicken nuggets, you know. So I'm gonna be doing it up. I'm gonna get. I get like the full meal when I get my. Uh, when I go to McDonald's, I'm gonna get like double quarter pounder. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get like. Uh, I'm gonna get like a uh, like a poutine. So double quarter pounder poutine. And I'm gonna get a, like a chicken McNuggets. So I'll get all of that with a large uh, Fruitopia, all that together combined in one. I'm gonna get all of that shit one time, man. So anyways, man, we out here, guys. I'm on Front Street, guys. This is like the, uh, Front Street, like, I don't even know what Front Street is. Like the financial district, entertainment district. I don't know exactly what it's considered here, but I'm on Front Street, guys, in downtown Toronto, man. You want to get a half pounder? Yeah, yeah. That's a half pounder. Yeah, pretty much. It's a half pounder. A double quarter pounder, man. I'll, I'll do it up one time for you guys, man. So, it's all good, man. So, man. Anyways, yeah, man. They, 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 yo, man. I would like to live in those huge buildings. How can you evacuate? I would not want to live. Oh, okay. I don't know. In a fire, I guess you got to jump out the window, man. I guess, like, you got to do it World Trade Center style, man. You know what I mean? If you get, if there's a fire or anything like that, you just do it World Trade Center style to get out, man. I don't know how you get out, man. You just got to pray that there's no fire. But these buildings are built of concrete, right? So, you know, there's no issue getting... These buildings going into fire and all that is not a very high probability, right? Because uh, it's concrete, man. So, yeah, man. You're not going to get no fire here. These buildings, it's going to be hard for these buildings to get on fire, man. It's not going to be... Big. So... So, yeah, man. Yeah, these buildings are built of concrete. Concrete, and then they put, like, a fire retardant thing on top of it, too, right? So, it's not going to be easy for these things to burn at all, man. You know, the same thing they put on the steel. They put the fire retardant uh, spray. The same thing they put on the concrete. Basically, these buildings are impossible to burn. But I guess if you try hard enough, you could make it burn. But uh, it'd be very, very difficult. So yeah, I don't think you have to worry about a fire guy. Definitely not, man. But anyways, now we out here. We on uh, Front Street in downtown Toronto. We did the Queen Street. Yo, John Thomas pumping through, guy. Yo, uh, old age uh, Albanian tuna kahuna popped me in a fifty dollars for the uh, Thailand fund, man. This guy wants me to go to Thailand, so he's saying get there. He's trying to pump up my cash. He's like, this guy, I already paid for you to go to Philippines. Now I want you to go to Thailand. So you got to roll out. You got to do some streaming out in Thailand. He wants you to go to beer bars. Uh, you got to go to cocoa bars and all that. So, you know, you got to be out there all the time, man. So they're going to make me go to Thailand one more time, man. Which is not bad. Like, I'm not saying. I love Thailand, so you guys love it. And uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that, man. Look at that. They, they took the old building here. Take a look at that, eh? They took that old building and they put it into the new building. Look at that, eh? Yeah, take a look at that, man. Isn't that cool? They didn't, like, one time, they could have just tore down the old building. But they said, no, no, no. The old building is something of value. And they kept the actual old building. They didn't knock it down. They could have knocked it down one time, man. Look at that. Look at that one time, man. They kept the old building and the new building. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Wow. Old building and new building. Anyways, that's pretty cool. You know, in Toronto back in the day, they used to knock down anything that was like an old building. They knock it down. So they knocked down a lot of the old buildings. When I was a kid, and when I was a kid, it knocked down a lot of the really old, architecturally nice buildings in Toronto. And that's why Toronto, back in the day, Toronto was all parking lots, man. There was no towers, man. All the old buildings got knocked down, and... The whole area was all parking lots. So, it was all parking lots down here. So, but then, because of gentrification, and because the, 
because the population had increased so high so fast the the, the land became very expensive so that's what caused the, um, the the land became very expensive and that's why Toronto has so many towers because it's a very concentrated like the land that you can build on is very small because you got single-family housing outside of the downtown and the land is very valuable and you got a lot of people moving here so you put all those things together and it happens to cause that the uh, the land causes that the building the only way to profitably develop the land is by building very tall kind of like New York and Hong Kong like that you guys know that shit already eh? but anyways guys we here we in Toronto guys we out here we out here we pushing through guys Thailand genre chat Philippines genre chat we out here guys tuna kahuna Tuna Kahuna Canada pumped me through with $50. Thank you so much, Tuna Kahuna. And uh, yeah, I'll put that right into the Thailand fund. We'll get out to Thailand. And I'll be streaming on the streets of Sukhumvit. Soy 11. I'm looking forward to Soy 11. I haven't been out there for such a long time, man. Oh, man. I'm missing Thailand, man. I'm always missing Thailand, guy. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. In Toronto, in Toronto, there's no tax abatement, really. In Toronto, the, um, what they do is, um, if you want to build a tall building, if you want to build a tall building in Toronto, what they do is, um, they say you got to give us something like you got to build a park or you got to give us some money to improve the urban realm or something like that so you got to give the city like 10 or 20 million dollars if you want to build a tall building but it's not like new york where you can buy the air rights from another building and then you can use that to make your tower taller here it's all about giving the city money for parks and shit like that that's how it works here but anyway it's all good we're gonna be back in thailand soon guys we're going back to thailand looking forward to that man one time man Thailand genre, Philippines genre, back in the house, man. We're going to be out there, man, one time. Looking forward to that, man. Thailand genre, man. The crime family, man. The crime family came through, man. The crime family of Thailand came through. They're like, God, you got to be out here in Thailand with us, man. I'm like, shit, yo. You guys came through for me, man. Yeah, so John Thomas... Funny enough, I did a vlog today, uh, John Thomas, I did a vlog today on the crime family in Thailand. And I was just saying how they're always beefing with everybody, like the Thailand genre, everyone's always beefing with everybody. And yo, today Tuna Kahuna Canada came into the chat and he dropped the 50 bucks on me right there, saying, guy, get your ass to Thailand, man. Don't be messing around in Toronto, man. So yeah, guy. And so we out here, guys. So yeah, man. All right, guys. I'm at Union Station now, man. So this is the end of it for my chat here. I'm gonna shut it down. But thank you, Tuna Kahuna. You want me in Thailand, I'm gonna be back in Thailand, guy. All good, you, you ask for it, I'm gonna be there, guy. We're gonna stream it up in Thailand. Every street that you love in Thailand, we gonna be there. Beach Road, Soy 11, Sukhumvit. You know what I'm saying, homies? Every street in Thailand that you guys love, we're gonna be there. And uh, I'm going to do it up. Beer bars, go-go bars. Man, we're going to have a good old time there. So, end of the stream, guys. I got to get something to eat. I got to get a double quarter pounder. I got to get some nuggets. Get a poutine and a large futopia. And I'll be good and set for one time. Anyways, thank you so much, Tuna Kahuna. Thank you to the crime family of Thailand. I got to shut it down. Thank you for your donations, guys. You guys take care. I'll see you guys on the next one.